Hey everyone, welcome to another video. This video is going to be a first impression and wear test on the new Matte Pleasure lipsticks by Nabla. I got two of the shades and I'm going to try them out for you. So let's get into it. So Nabla is a brand that I've actually tried quite a lot from. I think they're quite interesting and I'm a big fan of a lot of their products. They used to be my favorite brand, but I feel like... These past two years or so, I've gotten a little bit less excited about their launches. I feel like they're going in a bit of a different direction and I used to love where they were at. Now I feel like they're almost becoming a bit of a luxury brand and they want to go for the luxury aesthetic, especially with these new lipsticks because these are 24 euros each, which I think is a very, very steep price i got them on like the launch deal so they were a little bit cheaper but if you get these full price i feel like that is almost like a two-faced lipstick they are quite up there now their lip products used to be like 16 euros and now we have quite the price increase so this is kind of like the first thing that came to mind when they launched these but still something about these piqued my interest and made me want to try them i saw the swatches i saw the colors i think there's quite an interesting range I think they made some interesting choices. We do have quite a few nudes and we have a bright pink, a deep berry and a very deep kind of coffee brown. And when I saw the swatches on the lips and just how it looked on the models, I was like, this could be a formula that could be perfect for me for what I look for in a matte lipstick. And they also promise that it's very long wearing, very comfortable. It is something that will just stay on the lips all day and you won't really feel it. So very lightweight. And the fact that they changed the price, they have these very promising promises and that Nala is going into this direction, but I still felt like I could actually come to like these. All these things together made me go like, huh, you know what? I think I'll just go and try these. I am on a low buy. I am trying to buy less makeup, but something about these intrigued me enough to pick them up. And I'm just going to show you some close up, some swatches. We're going to get into the two shades that I have here. So first here, I have the shade Peach Deal. And we have this quite like a little bit abstract packaging. We have the white kind of light gray with gold lettering and gold stripes. And then the actual packaging of the lipstick. I do feel like they did a step up. It feels quite nice and weighty, but not too heavy. It feels quite luxurious. Maybe the details still feel a little bit plasticky. It's not like metal. It is plastic, but a little bit like thicker plastic. When you turn it up, we have the imprint of the N from Nabla. And it looks like a very like soft matte lipstick in the tube. I feel like it looks quite nice and luxurious. It looks like quite a nice packaging. It's not like totally what I would go for, what I would choose. But I do think it looks nice and it feels quite nice. It's not like cheapy. The quality of the packaging seems quite nice. But of course, we also have to see if it actually feels on the lips as what they promise. I think it's going to be very interesting to actually try these out. Then we have the shade Naked Mauve. So I bought two of the lighter shades. Not the lightest ones, the ones that were a little bit darker than the absolute lightest nudes. I felt like those were probably going to be a bit hard for me personally to wear. I don't feel like the lightest absolute lightest nudes looked the best on me and I thought that these were two interesting shades. One is a little bit more cool toned, still not super cool toned. It's not like a purple mauve. It's definitely a bit of a warm mauve with maybe a little bit of a red undertone. So we have Naked Mauve and Peach Deal. And yeah, for me, I thought these would be the two shades that I would wear the most, that I would like the most. And I'm just really curious to see about the actual formula. I'm really hoping that it's gonna be like a soft matte, kind of still a natural sheen on the lips, but something that is gonna wear very nicely, very comfortably, and it's gonna look good all day. All right, so the first shade that I wanna apply, that I wanna try on my lips for you, is the shade 
peach deal so i'm just gonna grab a mirror and zoom you in a little bit so you can really see the application something like that and i'm also gonna do a wear test i'm gonna do a wear test on the mauve nude shade so i'm gonna check in later in the day and tell you what i think about it so let's go All right, so that really easily glided on the lips. It didn't feel like slippery, but it did glide easily. I do feel like it is a soft matte. It feels and looks like a soft matte. It doesn't feel dry. It doesn't feel like it's gonna like crack, like my lips are gonna suffer because of this. It just feels a very thin, a very lightweight. And I actually really, really like how it feels. It doesn't feel like silicone or anything. Just very, very soft, very light. And I really like the way that it looks. It doesn't make my lips look dry. It makes them look quite like healthy and nice while still looking matte, but not too matte. It's not like chalky. So that is a shade Peach Deal. And I actually really like how this feels and looks yeah i actually don't really have anything bad to say about it i actually think this looks really good now you can see it without it being like super sunny so it is a little bit of a deeper nude a warmer nude but i do like the shade and the undertone of this one i'm gonna take it off and then i'm gonna put on nude mauve all right nude oh naked mauve it's naked mauve sorry I think I said it wrong like the last five times. It is Naked Mauve. I'm gonna apply this to my lips. All right, so that is a shade Naked Mauve. And once again, it was very easy to apply and it looks really, really nice. I think this is going to be a beautiful formula. I just I have to see how it wears, of course, because sometimes you apply a lipstick and then you eat something, you drink something, and it starts to dry out and it feels so, so dry. So I hope that's not going to happen with this. By the way, I'm going to zoom you out again a little bit. So this is what it looks like. I think it's a really nice mauve shade, a very wearable, not too light. Uh, the only thing I still want to mention at this point is that it has a faint scent. The lipsticks do have a scent. It smells a little bit like nuts almost, like nutty but in a nice way. Almost like baked nuts, but very faint, very faint. So it's not like the type of scent where you have to be careful if you're really sensitive to scents. I think... This is totally fine. You don't really smell it once it is on your lips. You smell it when you're applying it, but after that, you don't. I think this looks really nice. I personally would usually wear this with a lip liner, but to really test it out, to really see what this lipstick can do, I will just test it out today without a lip liner to really see how long it wears on its own, because that can really change the wear and the way it looks. So... I'm gonna go about my day, I'm gonna eat my lunch, I am gonna work. I am filming this in my lunch break, so I'm now gonna eat and I'm gonna drink something. And then in a few hours, probably in like five hours, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna tell you what I think about the actual wear. All right, so this is the first check-in. There was a slight change of plans. I kind of forgot that I wanted to do a little bit, like film a little bit with both of these shades for a reel and for like a shorts probably maybe. I'm gonna post that as a shorts. So I forgot to do that with Peach Deal. So I took off Naked Mauve and then I put Peach Deal back on. So I wore this for the last few hours. So I'm just gonna do the wear test with this shade. So that is what happened. So I actually, ate lunch i've been wearing this for a few hours i ate lunch i drank tea i did all the things didn't really think about it so what i've noticed is that it will like come off a little bit it will like rub off a little bit on your mug but after that it still looks good it's not a problem i feel like that is the thing that makes it still feel comfortable it still it still has some movement to it it still has some creaminess to it 
but even if a little bit comes off it still looks good and i feel right now it does still look really really good and i did eat something that was a little bit greasy that was a little bit messy and i don't feel like you can really see that on my lips and i don't feel like it is really dried in it still feels comfortable so i really really like how it is still looking right now i am gonna update you again and i think two three hours and then i'm gonna give you like my final verdict for these lipsticks well maybe not completely final but for now the first impression after the wear test all right so it's a few hours later i ate some more i drank some more and i think this is gonna be the last check-in and i'm just gonna tell you my thoughts i've worn this for quite some hours and i really put it to the test really tried it out and i have some thoughts Keep in mind, this is my first day of wearing one of these lipsticks, so it's not like complete, my opinion isn't complete, but I feel like I have quite a good idea. So what I think about these lipsticks, I feel like they do give me the feel of a luxurious lipstick. The way this Peach Deal one feels on my lips is actually very very nice after drinking and eating some more i feel like it dried down a little bit more but it still looks good on the lips it doesn't look bad i feel like it's still very nice looking i only feel like it's gotten a little bit darker so it's very comfortable actually to wear throughout the day i didn't really feel like i had to touch it up or put something on top to make it still feel nice to wear so yeah i actually really like the quality of this lipstick and just the way it looks and i think if i would try it out the way i would really wear it with a lip liner i would like it even more and i'm actually pretty impressed i'm actually quite impressed just the soft matte quite hydrating lightweight feeling of this lipstick i really like and just the way it wears is really long wearing so i would actually say this is a great formula it is just is it worth the money at the moment that i'm filming this there's still the 20 percent off discount for the launch i'm gonna try to get this video up before the discount is done because i feel like 18 euros is a lot better is a better price than 24 i feel like 24 is a bit up there it's a bit steep to be able to tell you that 24 is worth it i don't know if i will be able to do that i feel like that is quite expensive and i definitely have to try it out more and see if these turn into favorites before i can say something like that i think for 18 i would say it is a very nice formula and i think it's worth that because it's really like next level a very interesting feel on the lips a very just hydrating while looking matte which is a bit hard to find usually more hydrating feeling lipsticks are a bit more slippery and just move around the lips a bit more i didn't have this feeling with these so i would say if you can snag these on a discount it is probably worth it and i think nabla is gonna have a black friday sale as well so if you can snack this with a little bit of a deal, I think like the whole feel of these lipsticks, like the, from the packaging until the wear, it is really nice. But 24, to be honest, I feel like it's a bit too much. For me personally, it's a bit too much. And that is my opinion for now. I will try and update you on these soon i will try to tell you a little bit more after i've worn them a few more times so that is actually gonna be everything for this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to like this video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe and also let me know if you're buying these lipsticks or you're eyeing these lipsticks i'm very interested to hear your thoughts and then i'll see you in my next video bye bye Ooh.